well guys let me talk to you about dummy variables today so dummy variables are those variables which are used to quantify the qualitative variables by assigning some numerical values to them it indicates the presence or absence of a quality or an attribute say for example employed or unemployed graduate or a non graduate smoker or a non smoker yes or no or acceptance or rejection well it may also be called as dichotomous variables or indicator variables so in as in the simplest of the understanding we quantify those qualitative variables for making use in our regression analysis so go uh, for example we may have a number of qualitative variables in our day, everyday life say like gender or the sex that we have male and female then we have habits such as smoker and non smoker colors such as black white and blue and nationality such as india us or uk now these variables these qualitative variables are constructed by artificially assigning zero and one value to it say for example one indicates your presence of an attribute or zero indicates your absence of an attribute you may be clear with a simple example of this suppose say we have uh, gender or the sex that is that what we had so one will indicate your male and zero will indicate your female or the other way you can take the other way so one will if one indicates your female then zero indicates your male another example say for example one indicates your employed then zero will mean your unemployed now if the other way like i told if it, if we take one as unemployed then your zero will mean as employed now the uh, the choice that you make in putting values to those attributes like zero and one is totally dependent on you it totally depends on you whether you want to put one for male and zero for female or you may put one for female or zero for male or the other way around right so you may be more clear with one simple example that i have say for example suppose we have wages is is a function of years of education and your gender or the sex now what we are saying here is we are saying like what your years of education affects your wages or the salary or anything like that and also your type of gender affects the wages that you are earning say so here in this gender or the sex we have included one dummy variable that is d1 is equal to we have assigned one for male and zero for female so putting this into a multiple regression model or multiple regression form say for example wy is in rupees that is for wages and beta not is your intercept term and beta 1 indicates your the parameters and ed1 suppose indicates your years of education and beta 2 indicates the parameter for your dummy variable and this d1 is the dummy variable for your gender or the sex and of course ui is your disturbance term now if we have a number of samples like that if we are if we try to model a multiple regression like this then what would your data sample or the data set look like for this multiple regression model suppose you collect for a particular area maybe the wages that is how much they are earning in a month or a year that is all up to you and the years of education suppose say in years maybe 12 years 13 years like that and now comes the most important thing that is about the dummy variables you also identify the sex or the gender first of all and then accordingly we put d the value of the dummy variables so if you go back to this d1 so male indicates your one or the your d1 is equal to one when it is male all right so you so you should be very careful when you put this uh, the value of the dummy variable 
likewise say for example the second sample 25000 and the years of education is 13 years now if it is female so accordingly we will put the value of this d1 so if it is female we will have to put this zero since we have identified the value of the dummy variables that is the female with zero now similarly suppose say 22000 for one another labor or for another individual years his years of education may be 11 years and he is a male of course then what will be the value of male so it will be one since we have identified the dummy variable as one so we put it one here now another case again suppose say 30000 another individual years of education is suppose 14 years now if it is female then accordingly we have the dummy variable that is d1 is equal to 0 so we for female we know it is 0 so that's why we put 0 here so similarly in, in this way we keep on uh, uh, making the data in our excel or whatever you would like to say then accordingly we run a regression so ultimately it will, your estimated regression equation will look like this so that is estimated value of the wages is a function of your estimated value of the intercept plus the estimated value of the parameter for your education and the estimated value of the parameter for your dummy variables anyway when you when you form a multiple regression like this what we are generally trying to mean or understand here if you look at the multiple regression here is so we are simply trying to understand what is whether there is any impact on the wages or whether there is whether there is any wage differentials within among males and females in our in their sector or not suppose they may be working as daily wage laborers or suppose they may be working in uh, service industry like that so we are just we just want to check okay that whether there is any impact on the type of the gender on the wages that the different individuals are earning or not and of course this years of education we have it numerical so we put it numerical it may be in terms of yes of course years that how many years they have been into education some may have taken like up to master's degree level some may have taken up to uh, just up to graduation level and and so on so in uh, practically again i repeat what we are trying to understand by taking the help of such dummy variables is we just want to check okay whether there is any differences among these two different type of attributes or the characteristics that we are trying to study in our multiple regression model all right guys so that's all for today again thank you